Hello everyone. Well, now that we've loaded our first big file in R, um, the Boston Housing Data, we're actually going to do a little bit more than just visualizations with it. This week we're going to take a look at our first um, linear model. Well, actually not our first linear model because if you took 363 last quarter, we built linear models in Excel. But this will be our first linear model in R. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a Boston Housing Data Set again, and we're going to use one field to predict the outcome of another field. And I will explain it in a much more detailed uh, PowerPoint presentation and video as we go through. I've also provided you with all the resources in the resources section of this module. So you'll be able to load up the R script and you'll be able to go ahead and look through the, the slides that I've given you that have several commands in them. The other concept we're going to talk about this week or start talking about this week is the concept of error. When we do things like predictive models, um, we're basically predicting an outcome variable based on an input variable, but we're not always going to be 100% right. And so because we're not 100% right, that kind of gives us a margin of error for each one of our predictions. Now, the closer we are to the actual value, the better our model is. And we can take many steps to actually make our model better um, over time, one of which is to include more input variables when we're predicting an output variable. But it's good for us to track the level of error that we have in our model. And so I will talk a little bit about tracking error and working with error and detecting error um, as we go through this module. All right, um, let me know if you have any questions about any of the material that is in this module.